I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Kubota press launch with Jeff Smith. Jeff, you are Mr. Electric here at the Kubota event because behind us we've got an electric wheel loader, folks. Jeff, tell us a little bit about this machine because they're becoming really popular electric uh, wheel loaders, aren't they? So, Peter, the, um, the unit behind us is, is our next uh, smart energy solution machine and it's the RT220-2E. There's another model available, which is the RT210-2E. To be, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the 220, the one behind us, is the bigger of the two. Yeah. But dimensionally, they're pretty much the same. Okay, cool. And so basically what we're doing is we're bringing this into the mix now. Kubota are known very well for excavating smaller pieces of equipment, but electric is becoming even more important for customers, isn't it? And we're going to be showing this unit at the Plantworks exhibition as well. Yeah, we are. So in a couple of weeks' time, you'll see it on the plant work show in, in, in June. So, folks, every time I talk about electric, which is one of my favourite subjects, is we talk about the battery. So what have we got in there? What's powering it up? And how long does, you know, can, can we work with it? Should we go and take a look at the battery? Why, why not? Come on, folks, let's go and take a look at it. Right in the back here. Here it is, and looks like... We've got a couple of options for charging there, Jeff. Yes, we do. The battery pack in this machine is the biggest option that you can choose. Okay. And it's the 520 amp hour. Right. If you bought a standard machine, it would come with a 260 amp hour, but you can upgrade at point of order to go to either a 390 or a 520. So there are three different options Three there. different options for battery, and it has to be noted that the bigger battery option you choose, it won't make the machine more powerful or efficient. Right. It'll just give you a longer operating time. Fantastic. So what we're talking about here, wheel loaders, there's lots of work around the job site. We've got to travel the distance, put your foot down, get to the next job, loading, loading, you know, all that hydraulic power that we need. And it's all here in a very compact situation, mm. isn't it? So for operating time with the battery bank we've got in this unit, it's the 520 amp hour. That would be equivalent to around about 24 kilowatts per hour. Yep. And in light duty work, we could expect to get eight hours operation. Yeah. And, and what about heavy... the charging options? It's obviously got a couple of things here. So yeah. we can purchase as an option a, a Type 2 car uh, plug yep. lead, but as standard on each machine there's an onboard charger. Yep. We can charge via that way, which would then be your mains outlet, yep. or we can plug in at this point what we call a supercharger, which would Ooh. require three phase, yep. but yep. really brings down the charge time. So realistically, everything's been thought about in here to charge everything. Yep. We've got the battery pack options. We've got the actual whole setup of the machine here, which you know looks to be a very comfortable unit as well because we've seen it in operation um, with your colleagues. So fundamentally, it's another electric moment from me, but that electric moment continues, folks, if you join Jeff and the team at Plantworks this year, a 13th to the 15th of June at the Peterborough Festival uh, Ground and the Eastern Midlands Showground. Cheers, Jeff. Nice Thank one. you, Peter.